Hello, Apex traders. We are excited to announce a new Apex trade copier. This new trade copier will be available through the Apex Investing website. Once on the website, scroll down. We will have a link to the new trade copier where you can purchase and download. For those of you who already use the Apex copier, this new trade copier will be available to you free of charge. One thing to note, Apex Investing is a different company than Apex Trader Funding. This website will require a different login. Your Apex Trader Funding login will not work. Also, any support that you need for that copier will need to be done through Apex Investing by opening a support ticket here. To install the new copier, you will open the Apex Investing Desktop Assistant. Once open, click on NinjaTrader Toolkit. In this case, I have NinjaTrader open. If I were to close it, it will populate a list of updates. I will choose the latest update and click install. Once installed, go to your NinjaTrader, click new, go down to Apex Copier. When I click Apex Copier, it's going to pop up a message. This message says, watch out. There is another copier open in Workspace, which I have named test. This message popped up because I already had the copier open. We built this in to warn you if you inadvertently open two copiers in the same workspace. I'll click OK and close out of that second copier. In my test workspace, I have two Rhythmic accounts and two Tradeavate accounts. So let's go over the features on the new copier. If you come up to the copier under Leader Account, there's a drop down. This will show your active accounts. You can choose either a Rhythmic or a Trade of 8 account to lead with. I'm going to choose a Rhythmic. Come down below. This is the list of followers that I have available. I'm going to choose an additional Rhythmic and two Trade of 8 accounts to follow with. Come up to Instrument. I am trading the Mini NQ. If you look here under Ratio, this essentially ratios the follower accounts against the leader's order quantity size. And I will show how that works in a couple trades. The cross is a cross between mini to micro and micro to mini. I'm trading a mini in queue. If I were to turn this on in my followers, it will then cross all the followers to a micro in queue. The flatten per account is unique to the Apex Trade Copier. This allows you to flatten positions per account as you see fit. Up top, we have a flatten all that will kill all, flatten all positions across all accounts. If you look at the tab here, you can see it has the leader account shown and the instrument. I can click the plus sign, set up an additional tab. So let's choose a different instrument, ES. And now I have one tab set up for ES and the other tab set up for NQ. If you right click anywhere on the trade copier, you're going to see a couple options. The first option is always on top. This simply means that the, you can set it so the trade copier is always on top of your other window. So I can turn that on. And you will see now it says always on top is on. The toggle on allows you to toggle all accounts on with one click. So I have everything deselected now. If I click toggle on, it will toggle all of my accounts on. And then I can just choose I don't want to trade that SIM account. That's handy if you have 10 or 20 accounts you're trading at one time. The desync is currently selected. The desync is essentially it syncs the follower accounts against the leader. If the follower accounts do not get filled in time, it will automatically flatten the positions on the follower. This eliminates the chance that these followers then get an inverse position when the leader, leader fills its stops. If for whatever reason you do not want that, you can click it and turn it off. When that is armed, there are times that these accounts will not sync and then they will go to an orange or to a red X. If that is the case, you can go in and simply click rearmed desynced accounts and it will rearm these accounts. The save instrument template, this saves the instrument 
that you have open. So if I were to click Save Instrument Template, I now have in, it saved the template for NQ with this configuration. And I can go in and click last, Load Last Save Template, and that's my saved template. So let's look at doing a couple trades. Uh, if I come down to my leader account, which is over here, let's just buy the market. I've currently got this all set up. So it's trading one contract across all four of my accounts. Buy the market, you will see I'm in positions across all four. I can move my stops wherever I want them. It's moving on all of the follower accounts. I can come up, flatten all, and I'm flat across all accounts. You will notice a little countdown timer on the flatten all. That essentially is allowing the system time to exit all trades before you place another trade. Let's buy the market again. Let's come up here and show you how the flatten per account works. So I can click flatten. Let's flatten that account, that account, this account, and I've only got my leader. I can click flatten all, and I'm out of all trades. You will notice this turn to a red X. You can either click these independently or you can right click and click rearm desynced accounts and I'm back up with my original configuration. If you were trading without an ATM strategy, let me turn this off and I buy the market. I can enter a limit order on the chart, move it wherever I want. It's moving across all followers. Turn my ATM back on. Under the ratio, I will show how this works two different ways. We're first of all just going to set this to two, three, and four. And if I buy the market, it entered one contract, two contracts, three, and four, exactly the way I have it set up here. Click flatten all, I'm out of all positions. If I go up here and change this to 0.5, this to 2, and this to 3, and then change my leader to 4 contracts, and buy the market, you will see it's entered 4 on the leader, 2 on this follower because this is set to 0 0.5, 8 on this follower because it's set to 2, or twice the position of the leader, and this one entered with 12 because it is set to three or three times the position of my leader. And I can hit flatten all and I'm out of that. Now what's interesting about this trade copier, for those of you who use trading view, you can set this trade copier up inside of NinjaTrader the way that I have it set up. You can have both rhythmic and trade of eight accounts. As long as you lead, with a trade of eight account in the copier, and then choose the same account in your trading view software. You can then use this copier inside of Ninja Trader, but execute all your trades via trading view and still have full utilization of this trading copier. So that's, that's pretty handy for those of you who are using trading view and would like to trade copy multiple accounts. You still are able to flatten positions via the flatten everything. We do not advise spamming or repeatedly hitting the close button as that can inverse some orders in NinjaTrader. That's been an ongoing problem for NinjaTrader. So we always advise hitting flatten everything or using the flatten all in the trade copier. We're excited to, to have you use this copier. For any support, once again, go back to the Apex Investing website, open a support ticket, and we will be glad to help you out. Thanks, and have a great day.